Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where we have the world's worst job posting. Hey, OP, you have some really nice shots. Would you be interested in expanding your reach by doing a promotion on our page? That would help you a lot to reach more people that are interested in your work. Hi, let's cut directly to the chase. By promotion, do you mean paid? By me? We're doing promotions for a small fee of 5 euros, and that small donation is what keeps this page alive so we can help photographers gain some exposure and to get more people interested in their work. Other photographers that did a promotion on our page were happy with the results they got from it. You should expect some followers now and even more coming over time after seeing your photo in our feed. What do you think? I think you should F off. Your measly little 45,000 followers are not nearly enough to effectively promote pictures. Hell, even I've gotten posts that got more likes than the recent pics on your feed despite having only a few thousand followers. Your post will only get your page some likes. No one visits profiles of people that are promoted. And you expect me to pay so that you have something to fill your feed? Honestly man, get the F out of here. Your whole page is a scam. Man, what a weak excuse too. They need money so they can keep their page running? Since when does it take money to run an Instagram page? Especially an Instagram page where all they do is post other people's photos. What operating cost could they possibly have? Vent post. I was selling a Minnie Mouse dress from Disney World on the marketplace. A woman messaged me and asked if I would donate it to her for free because her daughter needs clothing. I gladly agreed. Then she asked me to drop it off. I simply said no. She then proceeds to say, Well, I hope you never have to beg someone for clothes for your kid. Like WTF. I was going to give it to you for free. I tried to explain to her that I don't have a vehicle and I'm low income myself and that she's being very rude. But she blocked me before I had the chance. Some people are just so ungrateful. And rant. Are you interested in helping translate Reddit into German? Hi everyone. We're really excited about the diverse number of countries that are able to use this platform to create culturally and geographically relevant communities. Our goal is to make sure everyone in the world can find belonging in a community on Reddit. A foundational piece of reaching that goal is to make sure the Reddit product is translated. This will make the site more accessible to millions of people all around the world. We're renewing our effort to translate the Reddit product, things like buttons, drop down menu, links in the product, but not the content generated by our users. If you're fluent in another language, we're looking for volunteers to help translate Reddit. So I went to look it up and reddit.com is the 18th most visited website on planet Earth and has an estimated value of $3 billion and raised $300 million of fundraising in April. It's such a shame that the site can't afford German translators. They have to rely on volunteers to translate. If only they could find just a little bit of wiggle room in that $3 billion budget of theirs to hire some translators. We're looking for weekend days and or overnights for our 9 year old son. He normally does weekend respite, but we don't have anybody this weekend or next weekend, November 6th through November 8th. We pay $40 for a 24 hour period, so $80 for weekends if he does overnights. Message me for details if you're interested in providing this service. Thanks. Let me do the math for you on this one. That comes out to $1.66 per hour. I'm pretty sure you can make more money just standing on the sidewalk and begging for spare change. Actually, I just looked it up and according to a study done in 2001, the average panhandler makes about 8 bucks an hour. So yeah, you'd actually be better off just begging for money. For context on this next post, this is a job opening post and the company is trying to create the world's first erasable t-shirt. And based on my reading of the post, they had the idea for the shirt but no one to actually design the shirt first. <laughs> so here we have the world's worst job posting. This opportunity is not for people who need a stable and well paying job. We have deep compassion for those in need of financial stability as we're in the same situation. But money isn't at all our motivator for this company. When we're successful, money will be a successful byproduct. Our goal is to fundraise soon, but in the beginning the salaries will be slightly below market rates. This job is not for people who need consistent direction, mentorship, need to be told what to do and how to do it. This job is also not for people who want stability in their job. 
Early stage startups have shifting priorities, which is great for velocity, but not so great if you're someone who likes certainty. Our experience tells us that uncertainty breeds innovation. Who we're looking for? Someone with a fire in their eyes who wants to pursue massive impact and help build a legendary company. Someone who's willing to live the ramen and instant coffee lifestyle for a bit before we raise venture capital. We promise we'll have an amazing dinner after we raise our first round of capital. Someone who's deeply passionate about the intersection of climate change, fashion, and apparel. A PhD doctorate, or at least a master's in either material science and engineering, fiber and polymer science, chemical engineering, electrical engineering, chemistry, physics, or the like. Someone who's really good at lab-based experimental roles, but can quickly meet deadlines and change direction based on data, and has a multidisciplinary perspective on how real-life science works. So basically this person has the idea for an erasable t-shirt. And now they're looking for some kind of chemical engineering genius to design the shirt for basically pennies. This was posted to the Facebook page of a dog park community. FYI if you're in that area. Not to sound cheap, but after months of Starbucks giving my puppy a short puppuccino with my breakfast order, this morning the management ordered them to downgrade to a sample size. It's fine if your dog is under 30 pounds, but mine is over 100. Management fail. The staff at the Starbucks were told to downgrade their puppuccinos from a short to a mini sampler cup. That won't work for my 100 pound lab Rottweiler mix. Luckily, there's lots of other locations to choose from in the area. Hashtag boycott. Hashtag Starbucks Canada. Hashtag Starbucks. Hashtag puppuccino. Hashtag cheap. And you'll be happy to know that this Karen got blasted so much in the comments that she had to turn off comments for this post. Hi. Hey, uh. So, I saw your picture of the ad Crepusculum. It's really cool. I was wondering if you would do one of me in it? Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. I'm full up this week, but I'll have some time towards the end of next week. I can make models inspired by you, but they're never 100% accurate unless using your actual skin or a 3D scan. Yeah, inspired by me is cool. I'd like it to be in a green ball gown, dancing with a taller guy. Also, we're both elves. But you can't see his face. The focus is just on me. I want it to be like the Beauty and Beast scene like this picture, but turned so that you can't see the guy's face. And I'm looking at the camera over his shoulder with an aren't you jealous sort of look. I like the blur that you put in your images too, so include that. That sounds like a fun image to work on. That would be X dollars for two figures in the scenery. You need to send me any references before I start work that you want me to see, such as costumes, expressions, lighting, etc. I can begin work on Monday, but only if payments received beforehand. It'll take me two to four days to turn the image around. You obviously get to see the draft halfway through. Does that sound okay with you? If you'd like to go ahead, I'll need an email to send you an invoice, PayPal only. Oh, I didn't know I'd have to pay. I thought you could do it for free. Oh, sorry for the misunderstanding. No, it would definitely be a paid commission. Sometimes I do giveaways or competitions, so if you're a fan, look out for one of those. I'll be doing some at Christmas. This is honestly very disappointing that it's all about money for you. What happened to doing something nice for someone who's having a hard time right now? I'm really sorry. These are very complex images to make, and I'm a full-time teacher, so I have to do these in my downtime, of which I get very little. Don't apologize. Do my image for free. If you have a job, you don't even need to get paid for this. Sad, sad, sad that all you care about is getting the money. Why can't you just be happy that you gave your time and shared your talent with someone who would just honestly love this from you right now? I'm afraid I can't. Anyways, like I said, look out for the giveaways and competitions if you can't afford it right now. Don't call me cheap. I can afford it, lol. I just don't want to pay for it. If you're doing a giveaway, you can do this for free now. Why not just do it 20 minutes or an hour a day if you don't have any free time? I can wait a bit longer for the final work. Sorry we couldn't make this work, but I don't think there's any point in discussing this anymore. Take care. Okay, wow. Well, you failed the test. I was actually going to pay you. I was just seeing if you were a hardworking and trustworthy person to work with. Looks like I'll be taking my money elsewhere. Down in the comments, I love this post from Burning Candle. Too bad for this choosing beggar because she failed the test too. OP was going to do the art for free if she offered to pay. So sad, sad, sad that she only cared about receiving free art instead of supporting artists. Is this still available? Yes. 
Is it your private owned car? And what's the mileage? Yeah, it's one person owned. The mileage is 6,500 miles. Any issues with it? Mechanical? Any dents, dings, or scratches? Nah, it's in excellent condition. Where are you located? I have a very detailed description in the listing. Are you negotiable on the price? I can pay full in cash. $63,500 is the lowest I can do, no less. Would you do $50,000 cash tomorrow? I'll take it as is. I won't ever come back to bother you. I've had offers from dealers at $5,600, $500 and declined because I know it's worth more. Come take a trip down to Manhattan tomorrow. I'll give you cash. For a selling price of $64,500 and an instant deposit of three k, I'll drive down to New York, but it won't be tomorrow, maybe Friday. You said $63,000 the other day, bro. Come to Manhattan and take $50,000 cash and enjoy the city. It's a five-year-old Mercedes. For $64,000, I can buy one in warranty. My bad, $63,500, but I won't drive to Manhattan for $50K. I'd also need another person with me for the trip back. $52,000. I can just sell it to a dealer here for $56,000, and I wouldn't have to drive 270 miles. You just want me to drive down to New York and sell it for $52,000 so you can flip the car and sell it for $60K. No, keep it personally. I'll sign the title on the spot. Dealers are BS. I'll sell it for 63 k no less. Kelly Blue Book is a waste of time. No one's going to give that money. If it was worth it, the car would have been sold already. Come on, take 50 k Honestly, at this point, I think you're wasting my time. It's only been a week since I posted it. Cars that cost a lot take a lot more time to sell anyways. I'm no longer going to sell my car to you. And for context here, OP is Asian. The car is gonna get corona, very bad luck. Come take cash before it gets corona and breaks. I don't think I will. I'd sell it instantly for 56k at the dealer before I have to come down to you. The dealer will lowball you. I've already had the vehicle appraised at three dealerships and the highest offer from a dealership was 56k. I could have signed it there. No good, very bad luck. No eat bat no more. I need complete sentences from you. <laughs> and then this guy just sends a bat emoji. I'm not sure which is worse here. The fact that this guy told OP not to eat bats because he's Asian, or, <laughs> or the fact that this guy thinks that cars can catch the coronavirus. On this next post, OP's roommate had been borrowing her friend's refrigerator. Then, about a year ago, OP's roommate moved out and the roommate sold her friend's fridge to OP. Hey, Claudia, how are you doing? All good, what about you? Melissa has a friend in need of a fridge, and we were wondering if you still had the second one. She might want to give it to him. Oh, I thought that we bought it from you guys. I remember we talked about it, but I don't think we ever made the transaction. I never sent her the money for the fridge. Hey, sorry for taking so long to reply. I had to check in with Pat because I didn't remember how that ended up going, lol. So apparently for the fridge, we just came to an agreement because the bills for the last month amounted to 120 bucks. So the price of the fridge versus the bills just canceled out. $120 was divided between Max and I? Sorry, it was so long ago. What was the $120 for? It was basically $25 per person for the Wi-Fi and $35 per person for the water, and both of you, yeah. Alright, so that can be considered rental for the fridge, or I can pay you back my part. Our friend doesn't have a fridge, and Melissa bought it for me last year I was there as a favor. I think she also left winter tires in the backyard. So sorry. No worry about the tires. Feel free to pick them up. However, we technically bought the fridge off of you. So it's effectively not Melissa's anymore. It's ours. Also, it's not for sale. She sold it as a favor at an incredibly low price. I wasn't asking. I was letting you know. Choosing beggar, you said it yourself. She sold the fridge willingly at the price that she set. If we don't want to sell it back to you guys, there's nothing that you can do. Since you sold it, the fridge belongs to us. In the end, we also paid $20 over the price she'd set. I'm genuinely sorry if this was a misunderstanding or if you're now in need of it, but it's been one year and I don't think it's fair for you to now be telling us you still own things that we paid you for at the time. It's honestly just confusing. Also, if you want me to explain this to Melissa, feel free to give me your contact and I'll talk to her directly, but yeah. It's not about me. It doesn't matter. Fridges are so expensive. You have two in that apartment thanks to Melissa. 
I can pay you back my part if that's what this is all about. This apartment had one fridge for the longest time. If she had a car, she would have taken it a while back ago. And I'm not trying to argue with you. I was just reaching out to let you know how things are. Things stay in apartments after people move. It's normal. A hundred dollars for a fridge was a blessing. You should have seen that. I'll talk to her again. Thanks for being so understanding. No, Choosing Beggar. It's not normal to sell something and ask for it back one year later. Feel free to talk to her, but as I said, the fridge is not for sale. And don't get it twisted. We did you a favor as much as you did us one. By taking the fridge off your hands so you wouldn't have to store it, dispose of it, or sell it to some random person and waste time or money doing the above. If your friend needs a fridge, there's one in Kijiji for literally 90 bucks. Have a lovely day. That's a tiny fridge. What do you mean when you say you're not asking, you're just letting us know? That someone needs the fridge since you guys have two. Okay, our answer is still no. Bye now. I'll just add that if you're somehow implying that you're going to try to take it back by force or intimidation, we have screenshots of this entire conversation in which you make it clear that you think you have a claim on our property, clearly implicating you. Okay, Melissa could have easily stored the fridge. She had the space. You guys wanted to keep it, so yes, it was a favor price for you. Well, she'll come by to pick up her tires. She's not trying to start something with you, girl. Just forget about the fridge if it's so important to you. Good to know that you wouldn't do something that stupid. Please tell her to send me a message to let me know when she's coming so I can make sure someone's here. Don't you just hate it when you buy something and then find out a year ago that you didn't actually buy it, you just rented it and have to give it back? That was r slash choosing beggars and if you like this content then check out my Patreon where I publish episodes that were too spicy for YouTube. Also hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.